The performance numbers of Intel's next generation XE HPG DG2 gaming GPUs have leaked out by none other than Tomb Apisac. Now the performance metrics which were obtained through an online database show that Intel will have their fastest chips pitted against AMD and Nvidia's second best chips within their current RDNA 2 and Ampere lineup. Now the leaker shared the performance numbers of two Intel XE DG2 GPU SKUs. One being a 448 EU part and the other being a 128 EU part. Now do note that both of these GPU variants are based on different SKUs. The DG2 with 448 EUs is going to be based on a cut down 512 EU die, while the 128 EU SKU is going to be based on the XE HPG2 DG2 128 EU die. Both will have variable die sizes and we have only seen so far the flagship die from Intel themselves. With that said, the DG2 448 EU SKU tested was operating at a clock speed of around 1.8 GHz, while the 128 EU SKU was operating at a clock speed of around 1.9 GHz. We don't know yet if that's the average, max, or base clock, but given the, what we've seen with the XE architecture, it should be the maximum clock speed. In terms of performance, the DG2 448G GPU delivered performance close to the NVIDIA RTX 3070, while the 6700 XT was 8% faster. It looks like the flagship part with the 512 EUs will compete in this benchmark favorably against the RTX 3070 Ti and the 6700 XT. While the 128 EU part is 12% faster than the GTX 1650, which puts it in the same league as the GTX 1650 Ti or the 1650 Super. So we're looking at two GPUs with very different performance targets. Also, the DG2 512 EU chip is going to be about the same size or slightly larger than the NVIDIA GA104 and AMD Navi 22 GPUs as reported previously on the site. Now this shows that Intel might not compete against the flagship GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD, at least until the next generation that is. What they will do is try to offer more competitive products around the $500 US price range where the 6700 XT and the RTX 3070 currently sit. That plus backed with a good feature set such as hardware accelerated ray tracing support and their own AI super sampling technology on board, Intel might end up with a very attractive graphics card. On the same front, Intel is said to offer its own XESS solution to rival DLSS and FSR. The encoding and prosumer capabilities are also going to be very impressive for the XEHPG graphics cards as well. Intel has also confirmed support for hardware accelerated ray tracing, sampler feedback, and other DX12 Ultimate features on its X8. HPG architecture. Now it is worth taking note the leaker didn't mention which specific benchmark those numbers come from or the fact that whether these are the desktop or notebook SKUs. However, based on the comparison being made, it looks like these are in fact the desktop discrete graphics cards that were internally tested by Intel and spotted in an online database. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.